Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Um, I am playing around with some book pages today, just from an old, yep, Nancy Drew book. I'm still working my way through this baby. And I'm and some modeling paste. If you've never played with modeling plate paste before, it paste. <laughs> it is very fun and you can do a lot of different things with it. Like for example, I'm just um, putting some imagery on this book page just to have uh, for future uh, things to make for junk journals. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do with these, but I will play with some different techniques today. And just thought you might want to come along for the ride and just see see what I'm doing here. And maybe you'll want to grab some modeling paste. I do like this one's by Basics Liquitex. You can get it in jars or um, um, this. I like these squeeze bottles because you can. Uh, you can squeeze them. <laughs> Let me show you. I, I save any of these cards you get in the mail from this and that, and I'll just put some along here. You can do it out of the jar too, but then you got to scoop it and apply it on here and um, just run it through a stencil. It doesn't have to be a thick amount or anything like that. And um, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. Uh, you can also use it a little bit straight, almost like an acrylic paint to uh, give your papers a little bit of color, texture, um, just a little bit different of a look and, you know, this will dry hard. Um, so, you know, kind of think about you, you're going to use it the way it is. It might, once it's dried, if you bend the paper, it might crack. So just FYI on that, let me just put the Dunsies over here and we'll just do a few of these and maybe we'll find some different ways we can play with decorating them. It's a uh, kind of a craft with me. Let's go explore playing with modeling paste and book pages today. I always like a good round of book page play. I feel like I'm using up my supplies. It's fun. It's only paper. It's um, uh, a playful time in, uh, for a day. You know, it's just goofing around, mucking around with some stuff. Okay. Um, now, this is one thing, you know, I'm ne normally not very good at rinsing my stencils from the inks and things like that, but modeling paste, yeah, you definitely want to take that off of your uh, stencils once you're done before it dries because it will be much harder to get off after that. Now, of course, I have some ink residue because I'm a, I'm a bad crafter. I don't clean my stencils. but um, So this modeling paste will absorb some of that color, which might be a good thing. We'll just work that into the design as we do, getting a little green element going here. From the green and a little bit of brown that's on the stencil, thanks to... Pam came through here and crafted. <laughs> uh, but then, you know, that pigment does show up on here and it looks kind of pretty. I don't know if you can see that very well here, but it's like a light green. That's really, really kind of cool, actually. Um, so we're liking that. That's a thumbs up. Yay. Um, doesn't happen often in, li in life where you can leave something messy and it comes out better than it did before. How about that? All right, let me just get this one. I'm getting close to the end of this, so I might even actually have to buy another one. Um, and I've had this one for a long time. I don't use the modeling paste a lot. Now, you know why? Because I forget about it. And that's, okay, I'm, I'm not, okay, that's hard. What I like to do is uh, keep a baby wipe or something close by so that you can get that stuff off just to quickly wipe. A nice wet washcloth would work perfectly, even better than a baby wipe, honestly. Or you can just throw them in a tub of water while you're working. And that way you don't have to run around scampering like you forgot to wash off your stencils. So let me just grab a couple different stencils. Oh, there's the old whoops, the tree stencil. Now I've got a thousand stencils, so I need to dig deeper and pull out the ones I don't. Oh, there's some leaves. Yeah, I like my leaf stencils. Okay, let's pull these out. Okay. Good old leafy stencils. And if you want to find leaf stencils, um, I usually go on eBay and I type in like leaf stencils and then I'll go to um, least expensive first and you can find some for not too much money. So you know, when you have a nice stencil, you probably should take better care of them than I do. But um, they are fun tools because you can use them in so many different ways in the world of junk journaling. So, and all paper crafting. So this is just plain fun. If you haven't done much with stencils, maybe this is your time. Maybe you want to pick one up, try something different. Or, or maybe you got some and you totally forgot about it. Or you can make your own. You know, there's, you can uh, cut out shapes and papers. And um, you can use uh, punches and things like that in acetate. That'll be a way to, I don't know if it'll cut through acetate, a paper punch. But it's, a, you know, you could cut 
hearts and stars and stuff like that. Basic shapes are not too hard to uh, uh, cut out of the, with your scissors. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, okay. Get some of this off. Okay, oh, I think I lost part of the stencil there. That's all right. We carry on. We soldier on. And we act like it never happened. All right, here we go. Clean those up a bit. I'm just letting those dry just a tad while I'm making some new ones. And with my, here's my good old Nancy Drew book. Um, I just love these old books. They're just so much fun to work with. All this paper, and even these blank pages, it doesn't always have to be over text. It can be over a blank page too. Some of the pages are blank in the book and all this old vintage fiction story stuff is just awesome. Let's see what we got here. Number 13, little secret garden, that's cool. All right, let's try that. All right, this, this calls for more modeling paste. All right, so I'm gonna shake a little more down in the bucket here. Um, so you can cut out embellishments, you can make envelopes, you can make um, journal cards, pockets and tucks and belly bands and bookmarks and all those fun things that we love to do and get all that on there. There, that's super pretty. Oh, that looks really cool. Secret garden. Wow. Very pretty. All right, I'm gonna find somewhere else to put that. Maybe do a couple more of these. Where is my book? Likes to move on me. Let's see, what can I do on these pages? I like to use them all if I can. Did I clean off my stencil? I don't think so. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those two pages yet. We'll put them over here. We'll go back for, did I wipe it off? No. No, she did not wipe it off. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come in here with, there's a baby wipe, but then there's something called water and a cloth, which is sometimes a little bit more efficient because a little more material and tooth to it, and I can really get my craft mat dirty. How about that? Okay. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I have this one that just has a uh, preponderance of, hearts on it which looks just so pretty all right here we go come here preponderance let's put some down here on you and see how we go i wonder if i could mix this with something you know i just maybe there's a pigment what can i use um like a powder some kind of pigment powder um i can't use dye oh you know what i could use how about distress ink and the re-anchors. Let me go grab some of that and just see. I'm grabbing it. And oh, this might be interesting. It's not open yet. Let's not fuddle with that. Let's find one that's open, Pam. Go for an open bottle. Are you open? Oh my god, I got a thousand of these things and I haven't opened barely any of them yet. Oh, you're purple? Oh, you're open. Oh, this is going to be really messy. But it could be kind of cool. I have no... Okay, this is what I grabbed. One of these, this is, if you've never seen one, it's a Distress Ink Pad re -inker. This is Wilted Violet. Okay, so probably should have used pink. Well, we, we're going to use what we have. No idea what's going to happen here. Let me take that page. It's here. I don't know what I'm doing, actually, but let's put the modeling paste down here a little more. And let's try and make purple modeling paste. How about that? I don't know if this is going to work. I have no idea. Just, I'll just one drop. I don't know. Do we need more? I don't know. I Nobody knows at this point. We're going into land of the unknown. Let's see what happens. I'm getting something to mix it with. Here's a straw. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's pretty intense. You don't need much, apparently. No, you don't need much. Oh, that's very pretty. Huh. Well, that was easy. All right. Well, let's scrape it back up. Eh? Meh? Meh? All right, let's see what we get now. We're going to go for some purple hearts? Sure, why not?
Wow. Kind of looks pinky, a little pinky. It's not like super deep purple because the, the dark purple is mixing with the white. We're getting like a light, like a lighter purple, or we could almost pass it off as a pink. I think that's what's happening here. The more it's mixing, I'm going to get some pink hearts. Now I'm very excited. I don't have enough to fill in that little. Oh, yes, I do. You kind of go and over scrape. You can salvage some and then fill in some dead spots here. Here we go. Here's a little. This is fun. Now we're talking. Now we're going to places I've never been. All right. I'm sure you could use other things like chalk, chalk or something. I don't know, but these little ink paint, maybe some kind of paint you could mix in there. Well, that's just darn cool, isn't it? There you go. That's right. You saw it happen here. Okay, let's let's wipe that off because we're good crafters. Oh, oh, it's on the side. All right, coming in with the big gun. Make short work of it, everybody. Short work, I tell you. They're done. Uh, you're actually seeing me clean a stencil. Rarely happens out in nature, but you've seen it here live. All right, that was kind of cool. Let's try a different color. I've got a really cool butterfly stencil here. Yeah. Hang on, let me just run over there and get a different color. Something else. Let's see. Do some not open. I'm, uh, what's this? What's that? Black, brown, no. no. Tea dye. Not open. I guess we can open one. I'm looking for a pink or something. Do I have a pink? Probably not. I, I'm still over here. I'm looking. Hang on. Don't give up on me. Got red. Oh, maybe red for Valentine's? What color is that? Candied apple. Oh, this will be a mess. Let's try this. I grabbed these. I've got tea dye, candied apple, and black soot. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try our grand technique again. With this here, get the paste, paste down. Oh, hang on. Sorry, got to bring the paste down. It's like toothpaste. Um, kind of same consistency, but I don't think toothpaste will dry the same way. So it's almost like we have to try something. Let's try the red. I'm kind of curious as to how that comes out. Okay, we're going to sit here for an hour and watch Pam try and open this. I use this and not kill myself. Very careful. Okay, try that. All right, here we go. And now we are going to apply the red dye, candied apple. I'm going to do the one. Oh boy, let me do two, see what happens. How much more intense it is than the, the purple. Well, we're just going to find out here, aren't we? I'll just use the same nub. It's all good. Almost good. Looks like a um, peppermint stick or something. That's kind of cool. Really? I think it's all going to mix together and make a. I'll probably get a different shade of pink. Probably. It's actually very pretty. All right. Not much mixing is needed. Eh, got the stuff, and we're out of here. All right. Let's do a butterfly in red. Oh, yep. Nope. Well, that wasn't the best tear ever, but we're here and we're back. All right, we'll put this big butterfly on there. Let's see what happens. Going for it. Oh, yeah, we're talking some vibrancy here. Now we're talking. Oh, it's very pretty. All righty. We've got, we've got some left over. We could do another page. I've got some flowers here I could do, too, in this color, that big color. Oh, that's very pretty. Actually, It's actually turning... It's turning, I would call orange. This would be orange, but it's it's a nice orange. I have nothing against that orange. So maybe it's not a true to color thing because it never promised me a rose garden and saying that it was going to save them. That's not bad. You know, I, I do kind of like that. I better wipe this off. All right. Quick wet and wipe. This is the, see, it does it pretty quickly and you end up stenciling on your desk, but it's not bad. You know what I mean? Like it can be. It can be, oh, geez, that's rolling over. Stay up. Um, okay, we're good. Good as good gets around here. Pull out another book page. Tear a thingy. Oh, there's some flowers. Let me try those. These are pretty. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. All right, should probably get away from this one. All right, ready? I don't know if I have enough to do all this. Probably not.
These are very tiny, thin designs, so it doesn't take a lot of uh, paste, but we're, we're getting the bang for our buck here with this one. A little squirt will do ya, you know? All right, here we go. I got that over there. Get in there. All right, make sure we got all the little flowers. I don't got them all. Go back. You can always go backwards on these things to backfill. And a little flower down there. I missed a little flower down there. Okay, I think we've, we've got them all pretty well. Used almost all of it. I don't need to be shy. I have plenty, Pam. Put the put it down where you need it. Okay, now let's see what we got. I should really clean, keep my stuff out of the way. Then it would be perfectly clean. So exciting. Okay. Ooh. Oh, very pretty. Kind of smooshed there, but you know we could work around that. That's actually very pretty, isn't it? Be nice as a focal point on a page. I mean, just sticking this whole page onto a page, maybe with a white border and inked around the edge. I mean, just something or anything. You could do anything with these things. Uh, put you over there. Now we're going to wipe you off. You are a messy girl. This is becoming very beautiful colors. Maybe one day I'll cut this up and, or maybe make a book cover, wrap a book cover in it. That would be fun. Yeah, we should do some more book covers. I need to make some more base journals so we have something to play with. I got a few journals floating around. Who are we kidding? But I, I do I do want to make some more. So we'll be making more journals in the future. Yeah. It's not going to be all embellishments, people. No, no, it's not. Okay, so we got that. All right, so now let's try another technique. I think I'm just going to just wipe this off there because then I can reuse that again with minimal cleaning needed. Um, closing up my modeling paste and putting it away. I wonder what would happen, she said dangerously. I wonder what would happen. If you took, okay, I'm just using this as a something to catch a mess on. Well, it's going to be a mess too. Um, let's, is this open? This is tea dye, okay? So I'm wondering, I don't know if it can happen. I'm wondering if we can get the tea dye around the white without bleeding into it. I don't know. Maybe we can get gravity to work on our side. Let's just try. Probably not. Nothing's going to happen. Oh, maybe if I add water, though, maybe something will happen. All right, let me try that. It's probably going to be a disaster mess. Let's see if anything happens here. Okay, we could let it trickle. Not much is happening. Oh, but when we do this, what happens? Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Oh, I, I think I like what I'm seeing. Some good something going on here. That looks kind of cool. I don't know what we have, but it's kind of cool. I'm just maybe using this. You can also take away with either Kleenex or a baby wipe. It's giving a different look. Kind of cool. All right, take that. And that was very nice. And here is black. I don't know what that's going to do. Yeah, all right, let's try it on this one. Because we can always do another one. You know what I mean? It's not like. Um, we're not, we're not attached to any of these permanently. I'm just going to put some dots. This, I think I've used this one to refill my thing before. Maybe I have used more of my black than I thought. I should fill my black. Um, let me just play with this first and then we'll refill the black anchor just so you can see how that's done. Now you could use gravity or you could use water and gravity. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man, look at that. What's good? Such a mess. Try folding it. Let me bring it back. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know what it is, but it looks kind of cool. Let me put another book page on there to absorb. Maybe we can do some kind of weird. I'm probably smushing the design out completely. I think I may have. Oh, I don't know what that is. Let's try coming in here and maybe we can reveal a little bit of the stencil. You can still see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. But the, the relief is still there. The embossed stencil with the modeling paste. It's just now, um, oh, we have something going on on that side too, because I used that. That's kind of cool, actually. You see that? You could use that, cut that out, do stuff with it. So you can just like play with this stuff, you know? I mean, there really are no rules here. You're going to get messy. It happens. It does. All right, what else do I have? I have these leaves. Should I do something with those? I, I tried my three colors. Where's that purple one? Did I put it back? 
I think I put it back. All right. What are you doing, Sonny? Oh, he's sitting on his pillow. I'm sitting on my pillow, Mom. It's what I do. Oh, here's a pretty green. Let's try this one. Okay. This is cracked pistachio, in case anybody's wondering. All right. It's going in and we're playing today. All right. Close that up so we don't kill ourselves. Okay. Now we're going to open this up. <clears throat> and we're going to put a little dab of dewy on here. Okay. Now I'm going to use less. Okay. I thought maybe this was very nice, but it was maybe a little aggressive. Okay. So we're going to use less. It's going to try. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. That's it. That's it. All right. Let's see what happens now. No gravity, just wet. Okay. Let's see what happens. Maybe a little gravity. Oh, it's trickling. That's good. See how it's trickling? We've got some trickleage. A little more wet. Oh, yes, we're running more. Oh, yeah, we're going in the veins of the leaves now. So I'm somewhere in between a lot and a little of this stuff. Okay, there we go. All right, that's kind of getting interesting. Now it is moving. It is moving. That's kind of cool. Makes it pop a little bit more. I don't know what it's going to look like when it dries, but I think it's going to be pretty. And I'm trying not to overthink what I'm doing at the moment. Just do it. You know what I mean? Just do it. I'm going to go in. I'm feeling confident. A little more. <laughs> you know, it's like stickles. Just a little more. Just a little. Okay, here we go. Feeling bolder. Going around the edges. Okay, and let's put some more water and see what happens. Now this baby will take a little bit to dry, but heck. Did I overdo it? I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to move it too much. Maybe I'm just going to let it dry as is. I want to move it a little bit. Let's see if we can get it to move a little bit. Oh, yep. Yeah. You can just see the dye running in the veins of the leaves. Yep, there it is. run -a So maybe that's the technique. A little... And then, you know, soak and then roll it a little bit. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Oh, mother. That's kind of pretty, though, isn't it? I really need to get a new one. Those. Oh, that's covered. Here, let's get it. Let me use any page. Oh, mother. Oh. Any page will do. Any page will do. That's pretty. I do. I like it. Okay, let me just take a little bit off on the tops. It's super off, but it does come off a little. Okay. Not gonna, because the wedding is reactivating the modeling place. I don't want to muck up the design too much. Oh, it's that funny thing on my viewfinder. Oh, it's a weird little thing. I don't know, you can't see it, but there's this like little flashing thing. I don't know what it is. All right, we'll just let it be. Um, but that's really kind of cool. Okay, so we like that. I think we have one more. Uh, there was this guy, he was looking, so what I'm doing is basically taking the imprints and then I'm giving them a little bit of an enhanced background so you, so you can see them. All right, now let's try for a multicolor one. Oh, we haven't tried that yet. Okay, so let's do some, let's do a little bit of red. I got nothing under here. I'm going to put something under there. Oop, why can't I tear paper today? Nope, there we go. Okay, a little bit. Where's the red? Over there. Okay. A little bit of red, just sparsely initially, as we determine with our great artistic eye, where on earth is, oh, that was the wrong spot, where this stuff should go. This is totally random. I have no idea where this stuff should go, but it's kind of fun. Like, it's like blood drops on here or something. Um, okay. All right, there we go. All right. Now let's give it a little bit of a, should I, could I put a little green? Well, why not? Uh, oh, there's one. That was a big one. Yep. I don't know if I should put them in the same spots or not. A little bit of green. A little bit of brown, just because we're here. Yeah, maybe around the edges more. I don't know. All right, try a little brown. This is the tea dye. I'm just calling it brown. And maybe just an anchoring of black. I just waft in with a little bit of the black. Like, nobody knows we were here. I just waft in. Waft. Okay. I have no idea. There's probably too much dye, but we're going to see what happens. Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, it likes to actually look kind of cool, doesn't it? Now, if I move it, it will change everything. I think it's kind of doing its own cool thing. I'm just going to just watch it for a minute as the dye. That's, so where you, I put more water, it's pulling the ink in. That's kind of cool, actually. So this is called completely hands-off art. You just sit here and it'll art itself. That's kind of cool. I think I'm just going to leave that one there. I'm going to slowly show you. Oh, my little lids are on. Oh, such a good crafter. And um, <laughs> every once in a while, I can pull it together. Okay, we put these guys here so you can see. I'm going to back up so you can see more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, here's Mr. T die. Oh, can't really see that. Mr. T die. Uh, Mr. Green leaves. Um, here's just um, butterfly. And this guy. So just kind of fun stuff to do with book pages. Um, that's looking pretty cool. I like that. And uh, they all look pretty cool, actually. I really, I'm, I'm happy with all of them. So let me get Mr. Snuffer Pants. I'm sure he has something to say. Mr. Snuffer Pants, are you in the building? Oh, you've moved. Oh, you're still there. I can see you. Come here, my boy. Yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, it's all, I know. It's so comfortable. I didn't want to move, Mom. But, but I know it's, I want to go say hi to everybody. So I'm, I'm very happily being swooped. Hello, everybody at Sunshine. Oh, <clears throat> yes, I am here. I am present. Um, there are lots of inky things behind me. I'm a little concerned. I don't want to be laid down in the inky things, Mom. No, I am not a baby wipe. I am not a baby wipe. Can you hear me? Not a baby wipe. Um, I'm also not a girl. For those of you who think I'm a girl, I'm a boy. I'm a big boy. Okay. I'm a boy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Maybe I'm not a big boy, but I'm a boy. Yes. And um, so mom was very generous today. She shared a little of her lunch and sunshine was allowed. Oh, a small piece of pot roast. I know it was very small. Let me tell you, even, oh my, it was so small. I, I could barely see it, smell it, taste it, but it was good. Let me tell you, it was good. And um, I promise not to get an upset stomach. Hmm. <laughs> you promised, didn't you? I did. <laughs> I'll say anything for meat. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, you know, all this pot roast makes the little boys really sleepy. So I'm going to wish you all happy crafting. Sunshine out. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. That was the pot roast update um, at the paper outpost. Hey, you never know. This one might look cool in a Valentine um, something or other. I don't know. Let's see. Um, but yeah, just some fun, goofy things. Just trying, throwing different elements together, seeing what you can come up with. I hope you had some fun here today. I know I always have fun with you guys. So thank you. Uh, if you don't know, I have a free monthly email newsletter. The link is down below in the description box or wherever. Um, depending on what device you're on. And um, uh, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how uh, to use it. And you can print that out, make it your own, change the wording, change the font, anything you like. And also um, a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page. And uh, uh, my videos now come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So I guess this is the first official Sunday video. So it turned out to be a craft with me. Um, they may be different. And um, so we'll just kind of keep rolling here and see how it goes. I think I also forgot to tell you who won the video, but we're going to have to do a redrawing and I don't have that set up yet. Uh, so I will get that to you um, who won the last craft chat ephemera contest. We'll just do another drawing because apparently it didn't record. And, um, that was, that would be the, that would be my fault. Uh, so I apologize for that, but I'll get that to you with the next video because I forgot to set it up today. Um, so that should come in Monday's video. That's right. Okay. So hoping all is well with you. Um, have a dandy day. And, uh, if you don't know, I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers, free priority mail shipping. 
100 plus pieces in a pack, old antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, um, music paper, dictionary paper, science section, uh, floral, botanical, nature section, um, all sorts of fun things in there, black and white photos, tea cards, um, coming to you in a, mail in a mailbox near you. Um, there, you can find that in my Etsy shop. It's called a fundal. And I also sell printable images. They come in uh, five pages each. Uh, I call them digi kits. Uh, you can just buy the computer files from me and then you save them to your computer or you can just leave them on Etsy and they're always saved for you in there and you can go back in there and download them and save them anytime you want. Even if you lose where you put them on your computer, you can always find them in your Etsy shop. I highly recommend using your Etsy account to buy it because then you'll be able to find your files much easier um, on the Etsy account because you just go to your Etsy account, you check your purchases and you can see all the files that you purchased right there and you can just download them and print them out again. And also, um, if you don't like to print, I offer a print and mail service. All you do is off, um, I will print for you up to 10 digi kits um, and that will give you 50 print printed pages on nice lightweight cardstock. And um, that also has free primor priority mail shipping. And um, yeah, I think that about wraps it up. So take care, everyone. Remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. Bye. Till next time.